benefit we look at is the superiority of remembering Allah after Fajr until sunrise. Anas ibn Malik قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من صلى غداء في الجماعة ثم قعد يذكر الله حتى تطلع الشمس ثم صلى ركعتين كانت له كأجر الحجة أو عمرة. And the Sibbim Malik said, the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever prays Fajr in congregation, and after that sits and remembers Allah until the sun rises, following this he prays two raka, earns the reward of Hajj and an Umrah. Imam At-Tirmidhi titled a section in his jami'a called The Recommendation to Sit in the Masjid After Fajr Until Sunrise. So this is something that is recommended in Sunnah. Uh, out of the six books of hadith, only Imam Tirmidhi narrated his hadith. So it wasn't collected in Bukhari, Muslim, Abu Dawood, Ibn Majah, and Nasa'i, only Tirmidhi. The two raka here are referred to as Salatul Duha or Ishraq. A specific issue as it relates to women, is the woman included for this reward if she prays in her house? Shaykh Abdul Aziz Ibn Baz, Rahimahullah said, if a woman prays in her musalla, then after Fajr, remembers Allah by dhikr or reading the Qur'an until sunup. Following this offers to Raqqa, she gets the reward mentioned in the hadith. Shaykh Muqbil rahimahullah said, yes, she is. If a woman prays Fajr in her house and sits and remembers Allah until sunrise, then she will get this reward.